So the Living Arts program is an immersive hands-on program for disadvantaged youth ages 14 through 24 to gain uh, experience in different fields of art. This could be anywhere from silk screening to fashion design to video gaming design, performance art, music, dance. It covers a lot of avenues in art and so it's a program that has professional guest artists come in and teach. It's a free program. All the materials are provided for them. They get mentorship, they get school guidance counseling from everyone here, the staff and the guest artists. There's the immersion program in making the artwork. It gives younger people more power to say the words that are coming out. Even if they don't have the words, they can paint it, write it, collage it, comic it. That's not a word, but yeah. It gives more voice to younger adults to be a part of the community. The advantages that this can give to the students is um, building blocks for them to have tools of communication skills, self-esteem, um, social skills, ways for them to gain uh, confidence in themselves and the idea that they can have a career in the field of art. Well, what got me interested in the Living Arts program was um, knowing that there's other um, art art platforms that I can get that I can learn more about you know and to be able to like have a career in art or pursuing it and like I think it's a great way to make some new friends hi how are you today I'm good thank you <laughs> I know so what are you working on today I'm working on a collage what is it based off of who was your inspiration um, well, the artist who presented today, um, like his pieces connected history and today. So um, I'm doing a collage of an Apsara, which is a Cambodian dancer. And I'm gonna um, find like city buildings and my message, or like it's supposed to show um, like keeping your culture while living in like the city. This program contributes to the developing young artists through building their confidence, through interaction with other students, as well as the mentorship with the guest artists, as well as by producing the work in a safe space, which is very supportive by the staff here at UCC, as well as our partnership with the Arts Council of Long Beach. I, I identify as trans and queer in the Living Arts program. I felt very safe, you know, like, so I'm able to express myself with other students. It really felt like home, like a second home. So there was a safe space that we created here in the classroom. And when everything went through COVID, we had to go on Zoom and students were wanting to participate on Zoom and maintain that social circle. So through Zoom, we were still able to have a safe space. Like the paper I have is like weird. So it's hard to like do it like in a stop motion thing, but like, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I like to draw a lot, but like, I just don't really, uh, like how you were saying how you need to have like confidence in your artwork and stuff. I don't really have confidence in my artwork, which is something I'm trying to work on, but like, yeah, so. I'm working on it too. I'm in the same boat. I, everybody, everybody has that. There'll be people 40 years in the industry and they'll be like, look, I actually don't really feel confident in my art. So can we not like talk about it? Can we like watch TV? But I love that. I thought that was great. I think also a lot of young people may not know what's involved being a, a career artist, you know, what's involved to being an artist in general. And so with having a professional artist here, they could ask them questions, they show them ways to get to be an artist, how to sell their work. It really dispels a lot of the mystery for them. So and that answers a lot of questions to the students and then it just makes it easier for people to either go to college and study art as a career or maybe just do it as a self-taught because we have a variety of artists that had schooling versus not attending art school. My experience was good, really good with Living Arts Long Beach when I was in it a couple years ago. I felt like I learned a lot from the people that I got to see and it was cool to learn about local artists, so yeah. <laughs> and now 
I'm graduating from Cal State Long Beach from the drawing and painting program. And I feel like uh, Living Arts Long Beach was a good entrance into the Long Beach community. And I'm really glad I could be a member of it and continue down that path of art and community. So I, I hope this program shapes the student as a, a roadmap, as a compass to guide them in decision making for their career, as well as being able to have like a resource and a community that they could also come back to. For these artists, I hope that they see that making art is not just for themselves, but actually it's a form of their power, it's a form of their voice. And so they can gain this self-esteem from this program and use this as an outlet for their voice and help themselves and the community by using art as a platform to address problems of, you know, things that need to be talked about more. Being in this program for the last two years has been really life-changing for me and I've enjoyed every second of it and I wouldn't have changed anything. I do, I recommend, I totally recommend this program for uh, for other students because it's like um, the foot in the door, you know, that's that saying. Um, like it's, it's going to help them like express themselves in the artistic field, but also in the community, you know, and help them be more involved. Like even if you're shy, you know, you, you're able to express yourself through the world of art.